Welcome back, everybody, to another episode here on the channel of Grim Crow Gaming, and today we are playing Hogwarts Legacy. Now, full disclosure, I completely forgot this game was coming out. I knew it was coming out soon, I just forgot the actual date, so I'm a little late to the party, of that of which I apologize. However, I'm a nerd. If you guys haven't figured that out already, you're a little late to the show. But I'm a nerd. I've always been a more of a nerd for Star Wars. Star Wars and Lord of the Rings have always been major keystones to the beginning of my life. Hogwarts and Harry Potter and the whole series dealing with that. Also really good, just not something I did a lot of. So, this is going to be both a review video and a let's play. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. Let's get right on into it. The Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on the 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, M. Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Now, when I first made my original character, I wasn't too pleased with how the voice sounded. And that, I think, was uh, mainly my bad. So we are going to... Hmm... We'll go with this character. I like the face shape. We'll have to find an appropriate hairstyle. We're gonna go with pre-haircut grim kind of style. All I have to do is find it. I don't want to do the man bun. And of course, we're gonna have a scar. My right eye is my good eye. My left eye is the one that's severely undercompensating. So we'll have a scar on my left eye. As for our complexion, that works. That also works. Eye color, I've been told that I have gray eyes. So we'll go with that. It was wonderful. And for the I name really for all of this, Grim Crow's Mead. Grim Crow, obviously, for the namesake, but mead because that's my favorite alcoholic drink. Let's start the journey. I'm excited for this. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the term begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. 
Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. This game does have a, a bit of beauty to it, don't you think, guys? Listen to that soundtrack. Traveling companion. A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, hmm. wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oi, they. That was something else, eh, guys? You're hurt. 
Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. This is beautiful. If like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright, let's follow Fig as we figure out where the hell we're trying to go, eh? That is fucking bright. Wow. He take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Absolutely, sir. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. But first, there's something I need to try. This game's all about fulfilling your wizardly desires, right? Yeet! Mind oh. Your step. Well, that's unfortunate. All right. Since I can't yeet myself off Where the cliff to my death in the Highlands of Scotland, a good question. I guess I'll just continue Mary living this life. Searching for evidence of a long forgotten <laughs> form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. Would you hurry but I up? I'm certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, that's the path down below. This way. Come on, guy. I know you're an older gentleman, but let's go here. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Nice. Excellent. I have to. That was a bit rougher than I expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. I have to commit to my jar breaking skills as a gamer. You never know what goodies there might be. Ah, up there. going too far dude you don't know chest 40 gold I'll take it that's why you explore everything fig 
We're close now. It's just ahead. If there's a separate path, it means follow that path. There's usually goodies. Steady yourself! Reparo! Okay, that's just cool. Gotta break all the jars. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Privacy? That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Hmm. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Looky, looky here, I found something. Gotta break the jars first. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Interesting. That's Green God's Bank. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. In Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Yeah, buddy. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. I like this little goblin guy. Stay close. After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Look at that. How I hate roller coasters, but man, this would be fucking fun right here. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have 
a range for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. I don't like that guy. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. I can already tell you guys this game is just beautiful. It's very pleasing to look at. Here we are. The subtle soundtrack is also really nice. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, I had something in my eye. Has visited Vault 12 until today. I still have something in my eye. There we go. All right. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. Cheeky little goblin. <laughs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Nice. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Look at that the door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's get to it. Oh, I need Lumos. Lumos. Oh. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. 
not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. Okay. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Hmm. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Don't mind if I do. Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh dear. Look out! Protect Accio! Defecto! Lenium! Deposo! Deposo! Exposo! How rude of these people. Stay close. Lumos. Okay. Professor. You're just gonna dip Professor like that? Fig. Professor. Let's Where follow the you? magic wisps. This isn't I bet you that's what they are too. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading What did me I say? Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Here we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Go. I got this. <coughs> yeah, buddy. Hold triangle during Protego to stun enemies with stupefy counter attack. All right. I can do that. Oh, yeah, so which one of you will be first? Buddy, you're a wizard, Grim. <coughs> <laughs> this is enjoyable. I'm loving this game, dude. Mm. 
Coffee. Oh, it's dark. Lumos. There we go. Okay. Chased. 60. I will take 60. Alright, where are the wisps leading me to now? Oh. Okay. That is one beautiful door. What's with the red? Ooh, very sparkly. Fuck it. above that basin that is no mere basin that is a pensive for viewing memories hmm. I wonder may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Hmm. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. <clears throat> Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Mm. Ranrock. <clears throat> Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. 
I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Damn. Yo, what? Shit. Run, Fig, run. Nice. Nice. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Are we in Hogwarts? Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. No way. <laughs> It's Hogwarts. Oh man, I'm getting goosebumps from here in the soundtrack. That's beautiful. All right. I suppose that means we're going to be doing the sorting ceremony. So what do you guys think is going to be my house that I get thrown into? I'm thinking it's probably going to be Ravenclaw or Gryffindor. But we'll have to wait and see. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but... That seems more appropriate. Now, very nice. I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch.
kind of, uh, haughty toddy this guy is, eh? Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Definitely can't wait. Hogwarts has much to offer <clears throat> a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Daring, curiosity, loyalty, and ambition. Honestly, if I had to have made a choice, were I in this situation, I would go with curiosity. I'm a very loyal person, granted. However, considering that this is a whole new world and it's magic, I would be curious to learn everything that I can. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Mmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect. What house am I gonna get, guys? Which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. <laughs> I'll take Ravenclaw. Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. You belong in Ravenclaw. Sounds good to me. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. I want to play Quidditch. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. I don't like you, you dude. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Uh, you have a point. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. Hmm. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As <clears> I was <throat> saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy All right. headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. Man, the Weasleys have been around for a long time then, eh? You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost? Or the poltergeist? Well, the ghost, ghost technically. Or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non being can never have been. Cheeky. Well done. 
Very now, cheeky. Go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh man, look at that. Like, come on, guys. All right. We are up and about for our first day at Hogwarts. Gone. Better head to the common room. Cool, cool. That is a weird fucking mirror. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Through a dumb box. <coughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. <clears throat> okay. So now I need to introduce myself to two other people. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You think you could... Ah! That is... Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Wasn't Can't by say choice. I recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I hope astronomy's on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, Better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? I do like Be the smell you? of fresh parchment. All right, introduce myself to Samantha, which is this chick. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Oh, an apple. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power and such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. 
Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different <clears throat> forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my room. <laughs> She is in my root. <laughs> Whew. Whew. Relax. Grim, it's gonna be okay. It was just a dad it was joke. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Disney. I bet, Thank guys. you. And good luck to you too on your first day. I like that. I like that a lot. <clears throat> New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go see Professor Weasley. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs the owls. of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. Wow. That certainly, uh, puts on quite the show whenever you open it, eh? What is it? It is a wizard's what is it? guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but... What do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. This is beautiful. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see Revelio. what the field guide can provide? Okay. Interesting. Clever, isn't it? <laughs> Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. You're walking way too slowly, lady. No time to waste. You've classes <clears throat> to attend. That, that's what I'm saying, dude. Hmm. 
All right, guys. I think this is where I'm going to stop it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of this, please let me know down in the comments because I'm still going to play it. It looks like a great game and I'm having a lot of fun. So if I can make this into content for you guys as like a playthrough, walkthrough with it, whatever, I would because this has been really fun. It's made me feel like that old Hollywood movie magic that you used to feel when we were like kids, you know? So I'm very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am the Grim Crow. This is GCG and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.